गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो पीरियोडिक टेस्ट आर ओवर नाउ सो टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द टेस्ट पेपर विच केम इन योर असेसरी टेस्ट सो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली सो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वेर यू हैव मेड द मिस्टेक एंड वेर द मार्क्स हैव बीन कट so that these mistakes can be avoided in the half yearly exams so children there were 20 questions and each had four options now the first question was it lies in the northern part of india so here children you got four options western desert coastal plains island and the northern mountains so out of these four options the correct answer is the northern mountains so the first answer is the northern mountains and as you all know western desert is on the west part of india or the west side of india more towards rajasthan then coastal plains are again on both eastern part and western part of india then there are two island groups in india one is lakshwadweep which is in the arabian sea and second is andaman and nicobar islands which is in bay of bengal so children the correct answer of question number 1 is the northern mountain which is on the northern most point of india now second question was the middle himalayas are also known as and the four options were himadri himachal shivalik and none of the above so children here the correct answer is himachal himachal is the correct answer of question number 2 and himadri children is also known as greater himalayas so himadri is also known as greater himalayas and shivalik is also known as lower himalayas therefore the correct answer of question number 2 is himachal now children coming to question number 3 the president of india lives in the here also you got four options first is rashtrapati bhavan vidhan sabha rajya sabha and none of the above so here children the correct answer is rashtrapati bhavan our president of india lives in rashtrapati bhavan whereas vidhan sabha and rajya sabha is a place where all the mlas or all the ministers come together for meetings so it's a place where the meetings are conducted so the correct answer is rashtrapati bhavan now next fourth question is the capital of gujarat is so children the capital of gujarat is gandhi nagar gandhi nagar is the correct answer jaipur is rajasthan's capital then bhopal is madhya pradesh madhya pradesh capital and chandigarh is the capital of both punjab and haryana so all the three rest all the three jaipur bhopal and chandigarh were incorrect and gandhi nagar is the correct answer then question number 5 the largest state of india is here the four options were maharashtra west bengal rajasthan and goa so children the largest state of india is rajasthan rajasthan is the correct answer of question number 5 maharashtra and west bengal are smaller in size than rajasthan and goa children goa is the smallest state of india so question number 5 right answer is rajasthan then qu- coming to question number 6 which is the highest peak in the world 
the four options were mount k2 kanchanjunga mount everest and none of the above so here children the correct answer is mount everest so mount everest is the highest peak in the world and children mount k2 is the second highest peak mount k2 is the second highest peak and kanchanjunga children kanchanjunga is the highest peak of himalayas in india so kanchanjunga is the highest peak in india therefore the correct answer of this question is mount everest now question number 7 the word himalaya means so the word himalaya means a board of snow a board of snow is the correct answer rest all the options land of snow pile of snow and all of the above are incorrect the correct answer is a board of snow which is also which also means home of snow now question number 8 Which state is the largest producer of apples in the country? The four options were Goa, Himachal Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and Uttar Pradesh. So here, children, the correct answer is Himachal Pradesh, and most of you have given the right answer. So the largest producer of apple in the country is Himachal Pradesh. Rest all the three options were incorrect. next children is question number 9 when did india gain its independence so the four options were 15th august 1950 15th august 1947 15th august 1956 and 15th august 1986 so children we all know that the correct answer is 15th august 1947 So on 15th August 1947 India gained its independence from Britishers and rest all the three options were incorrect Now coming to question number 10 Three fourth of the population is dependent on this occupation The four options were textile chemicals automobile and agriculture so children as you all know that most of the people in india practice agriculture so the correct answer is agriculture and very less percent of people work in textile factory chemical factory or automobile factory so the correct answer of question number 10 is agriculture then coming to question number 11 which is the longest river in india the four options were yamuna ganga brahmaputra and none of the above so children here the correct answer is ganga ganga is the longest river in india which originates from himalayas whereas yamuna and brahmaputra they are not that long like ganga so the correct answer of question number 11 is ganga then is question number 12 the capital of lakshwadweep is the four options were daman silvasa kavar kavarati and gangtok so children here the correct answer is kavarati now daman is Daman, Silvasa, and Gangtok are the capitals of Dadar and Nagar Haveli. Silvasa is the capital of the da- Dadar and Nagar Haveli. Then the capital of Daman and Diu is Daman, and the capital of Sikkim is Gangtok. So here, children, the correct answer is Kaveri. The capital of Lakshadweep is Kaveri. Next question number thirteen is the Siliguri Corridor is also known as Chicken's Neck, Sheep's Neck, Cow's Neck, or Goat's Neck. 
सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज चिकन स्नैक सो सिलेगुरी कॉरिडोर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज चिकन स्नैक एंड दिस कॉरिडोर कनेक्ट द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द इंडियन स्टेट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विच प्लेस रिकॉर्ड्स द मैक्सिमम एनुअल रेनफॉल इन द वर्ल्ड सो विच प्लेस रिसीव द मैक्सिमम एनुअल रेनफॉल द ऑप्शन वर मणिपुर मॉसेंड्रम असाम एंड त्रिपुरा सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज मॉसेंड्रम रेस्ट ऑल द थ्री ऑप्शन वर इन करेक्ट सो मॉसेंड्रम इज अ प्लेस नियर चेरा पूंजी which receives the maximum annual rainfall in the world now question number 15 the dash ocean surrounds india on the southern side the options were arabian sea bay of bengal indian and none of the above so children the correct answer here is indian ocean so indian ocean surrounds india on the southern side arabian sea is surrounding india on the western side bay of bengal is surrounding india on the eastern side whereas only indian ocean surrounds india on the southern side so the correct answer of question number 15 is indian ocean now question number 16 which range lies in the north eastern part of india the four options were purvanchal himadri himachal and none of the above so children purvanchal is the correct answer of this question so purvanchal is a range of hills on the north eastern side of india from pur you can understand that it is on the it is present on the eastern side pur means east so the correct answer is purvanchal himadri is also known as greater himalayas and it is on the northern most part of india then himachal is also known as middle himalayas so it lies just below the greater himalayas so here the correct answer was purvanchal now next is many hill stations are found in dash himalayas the options were greater outer middle and none of the above so the correct answer here children is middle so hill stations like shimla darjeeling masuri and nainital all are found in the middle himalayas only so greater outer and none of the above were the incorrect options and the correct answer of question number 17 is middle himalayas now question number 18 is dispur is the capital of dash and the options were manipur mizoram meghalaya and assam so children the correct answer here is assam so dispur is the capital of assam and the capital of manipur is imphal capital of mizoram is aswal and capital of meghalaya is shillong so the uh, correct answer here is assam now question number 19 what do you mean by the term flora and fauna the four options were the plant and animal life in an area speaking or using different language using living organisms to create new products or none of the above so the correct answer here children is the plant and animal life in an area so the definition of flora and fauna is the plant and animal life in an area the meaning of multilingual is speaking or using different language then meaning of biotechnology is using living organisms to create new products so the definition of flora and fauna will be plant and animal life in an area then last question what do you mean by the term pisciculture 
so children the options were the controlled breeding and rearing of fish much smaller than usual running along side by side but not meeting and none of the above so the correct answer of question number 20 is the controlled breeding and rearing of fish so pisciculture is the practice of breeding and rearing fish however much smaller than usual means miniature and running along side by side but not meeting is uh, the meaning is parallel so the word parallel means running along side by side but not meeting so rest all the three options are incorrect and the correct answer is control breeding and rearing of fish so children with this we have discussed all the 20 questions and i have told you their correct answers i am sure you must have understood where you have made the mistakes and these mistakes will not be repeated in the half yearly exams now children only one chapter is left after that we will complete the half yearly portion also so you need to start preparing for your half yearly exams so in the next class we will start with our or we will continue with our last lesson which is chapter number 8 so children i will see you all in the next session stay healthy and god bless you all children thank you